Hey guys, I thought I would make a quick video that would show you how you can enable sudo on your Debian machine. This is Debian Jesse, uh, the one that you have. Um, it's really quick and easy, but I thought I would just make sure that you um, get a little background too. So, whenever you want to enable sudo, first thing you want to do, of course, is understand what's going on, you know. So, here's a link that I created for you. Go ahead and go to that page. You really need to go to that page to get at least a brief background on how sudo works and why you got to use it, or uh, you know why. What's the logic behind it? Okay. Um, briefly, um, this is the page, by the way. Briefly, the reason that you really want to use sudo is because the root account, which is really the one that has all the power, is very dangerous if you're not careful with it. You can destroy files. You can delete things. Basically, you have total control and you can remove things that you shouldn't be removing and people usually screw up their operating system when they do that so really it's better to just limit your usage to when you need sudo now those of you who've worked with me know that sometimes we'll use su which means substitute okay but substitute is almost as bad as sudo because it will let you do anything and what and whereas sudo can, is limited only to the one command that you're running, whereas the su command, everything else that is inside, that, that, that while you're in su, um, you're gonna everything you do is as root. So it's also a security risk. So we want to try to use sudo rather than su or root. Okay. So to add a user to the sudoers file, okay, which is what you need, sudo by, by default people are not added to the file. If you try to do something in sudo. Um, for example, I say I try to use sudo and I try to use vice sudo. It's going to ask me for my password, okay, and I'm going to try to type it in. And notice what it says. It says, I'm not in the sudoers file. I'm going to be reported. <laughs> so you know that you, that means you're not in the sudoers, okay. So how do you add someone to sudo? Well, first of all, of course, this is obvious, but number one, the user must exist on the system. If you're logged into your user account, that's already f true, okay? This is really the reason number one, I put number one there, is because sometimes, later on, you may wish to add multiple users, because, you know, that's actually the strength of Linux, that it actually allows you to run multiple users. Even, you know, uh, there's, uh, like, if you think Windows and Mac have that capability, no, well, Linux has, like, well beyond that. It, they can log on graphically, they can log on by terminals, they can do all kinds. So, anyway, the point is, you got to make sure that the user exists, okay? If you want to learn more about doing that, in Google, just go ahead and type Debian Managing User Accounts. Okay, we're not going to get into that here because that's a very complicated subject, okay? But I thought at least you'd want to know that. Now, in your case, you, you do the user exists on the system. Just know the username. So if the user exists, then you add them using vice sudo, okay? Now, you need to be logged in as root. Notice, I just tried to launch vice sudo myself, and it didn't let me, which it should make sense. If I don't have access to it, if I'm not a sudoer, I shouldn't have access to vice sudo. So, how do I get it? Really easy. Okay, we're gonna use the one that we're gonna use the su command, the one that I told you not to use. Okay, <laughs> the reason we're gonna use it now is just to get up, just to get the elevated privileges temporarily, and then we're gonna log out of su. Okay, so we go su, oh, su. <laughs> And in SU, we type in our root password. Okay, now we're in the root, uh, we're in the, um, we're logged in as root. Okay, now in here, we go ahead and type the word vysudo. And you notice that this time, we get to see it, unlike the last time. As a matter of fact, many times, if you're not in sudo, by the way, Certain commands will not even appear to you. They'll say command not found. So that's how you'll know that you need to sudo to actually access some programs. Anyway, this file has a lot of options that we're really not going to cover, but later on, once you're more advanced, you may want to see how they work. Okay, so the more important point is how do we add you as sudo? Okay, well, notice. We have host alias, user alias, command alias, specification, user privilege specification, allow members of group to execute any command. 
see sudoers five yeah because this there's a manual in in your system that so the place you do it is right here okay and all you do really is just add the username and then copy everything below root as long as it looks identical you're good to go once you're done control x and of course save modify to yes and then hit enter to save it and you're out now we type exit whoops not in caps exit now we want to try to type uh, sudo by sudo and it's going to ask us for your regular password and there we are now we can access this file and there are many other files that, like I said that will also give us access so hope that helps from here on out you should have access if you ever need to remove yourself of course you can just go ahead and um, comment yourself out I'm not going to so I'm just gonna say no we don't want to save it but now you know okay hope that helps take care